loves who more? I don't know. I feel like it's like an argument that goes on between both of us. It's like, I love you, I love you more, no, I love you, it's like, whatever. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> All the things that the book say you should do, or I don't know, the book, The Earth, says like someone that loves you should do, he does. It's easy and he's a nice guy. He's my friend, he's my best though. So, I don't know, I'd say I love him more. I don't know, he loves me more. So I think we have a good relationship in that both of us care a lot. I think about one another and about the relationship. She mentioned seasons and we went through many seasons. Like we'd break up and be apart for a long time and then get back together and be apart for a long time and then get back together. And I think the thing that kept us through that was we both really liked one another. Um, so even when we weren't together, we'd hang out and we'd be friends and um, and I think that's kind of come through. Oh, I love Take Matake is incapable of love. She doesn't love anybody. She doesn't know it too. I'm sure she like, I think she would have said she loves you more, but I definitely love way more. Like, Boeing is just like super lovable. Definitely, definitely. If you know what I have to cope with with Boeing. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I, what said, is it? I said me, but I said you. I love <laughs> no, I said you're really easy to love now. You're really, you're like, you know, you, you do, you do love me very well, so it's easy. I, I said, I said I didn't know it. I thought it was like pretty even. Like, We're even, 50-50. Uh, I was like, I love you more because I, I have a lot to cope with. Wow, who do you say love to more? <laughs> I said I love you more. Oh, I said you're good to say that you love me more. Okay. <laughs> oh, I said you're incapable of love. Jokes. <laughs> Do you guys have a song? Hmm. So, okay, the Afropolitan vibes that I invited him to, Brahma was performing. I said he had never heard a Brahma song. I was like, what? Have you never heard a Brahma song? And so, I said to him, like, all oh, Brahma songs to listen to, and then he came from Afropolitan vibes. I was like, oh yeah, Brahma is great. And so, I guess you can say Brahma is our artist. I don't even have a song. And, like, we have a playlist that I made for him for his birthday, and then we add songs to it all the time. We have two playlists. Then I think there are some songs on two playlists, but the first song on the playlist is um, Smile for Me, Semi. We don't like each other like that, man. We don't have a song. Oh, but we have similar tastes in music. So maybe like Coldplay. I think I have a song. But every time I hear Miley Cyrus adore, yeah, I always think of boy. Yeah. We do, we so do. Yeah. It's, um, Nina Simone, ah, oh, my baby just cares for me. That's the song. Our wedding song was Nina Simone's "My Baby Just Care for My Baby Just Cares for Me," and yeah, that's a, that, that's been our song. Like before we got married, that was our song, and that's the song we danced into. Okay, so both of you should just just answer the song. Okay. The song. Nina Simone? Nina Simone. Yeah. Okay, my baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, one, that, one, that one's easy and clear. Have you ever seen Drunk Lisa and Tomiwa? We're singing the, it. We're singing it. The, the song is coming out today is dancing. Yeah. yeah. That, that's it. Yeah. Talk about the Brimo thing, Afropolitan vibes, and the playlist. Two of them. And Simi, Smile for Me. Oh, yeah. Smile for Me. It's a thing. So, what's that? tiny thing that you guys always fight about? We have never fought about anything. Like, we literally have zero disagreements. Maybe, okay, so she'll probably just be like, why do I lie a lot? Always about her lies. <laughs> because she would refuse to admit that she's lying about something. <laughs> Can I take you back? It's a lot of energy. Oh. <laughs> Besides who love who more. Oh. <laughs> Uh, food, not eating. Why are you not eating? Because I'm not hungry. But you need to eat. I'm not hungry. <laughs> okay. Then you buy food. And then I will not have to eat because he has bought it. I'm not hungry. No, you must eat. I'm not hungry. No, you must eat. So it's like... Weird. What we have disagreements about, there are different things. That I like to watch TV and sleep in front of the TV sometimes. That's a tiny thing we fight about. Um, I think t TV. Tomorrow doesn't like that I watch a lot of TV. I watch TV. Something else, 
that we sometimes fight about, not fight about, but discuss, is that um, I make decisions very quickly, and Tomo has to think about everything. He thinks about the process, so I have to be like, I have to wait and be like, I've thought about it, <laughs> but I really haven't. I just, I have, I make decisions very quickly. Schedules, he says like, over schedules everything. It's like Saturday and we have 17 things to do. Like, it feels like a Monday kind of thing. Um, and me, I'm just like, I just want space to like, breathe and do stuff and not be rushed. I like, but I think like, it's like, it's like lies, like you're very tactful and I, Tense like things told me straight. Yeah, I said that. Yeah. yeah. So we don't fight. We love yeah. each other. The only other thing I thought with other friends about is like my personal skills. Yeah, and we've never had that. <laughs> <laughs> we've never uh, had yeah, that. Yeah, like you completely respect it. I said watching TV. That too. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> I said, I said she watching. She really likes TV. And I'm just like, but you know. You know when you like watch those things about rich people, like rich people don't watch TV. And I'm like, I want to be rich. I so <laughs> NYPD Blue. Yeah, she doesn't something. even watch, she doesn't even watch good TV. Because no. like and I, <laughs> TV. like you come and it's like the hundred thousandth episode of NCIS and I'm like, what? Yeah. My but, 600 pound life, my geez. oh man. Or botched. Botched. Yeah. I also said um because I decide really quickly, and you take your time to decide. Yeah. So like the balance in between. Okay, I was, I was saying like we have the things that we care about, okay. that the other person doesn't care about, and that sometimes like stuff that's important to me, mm -hmm. you're just like, eh, and then mm -hmm. uh, vice versa, and I'm like, mm -hmm. so like we're always trying to figure out the balance between those ones. People are important. Do you know exactly why you love Toki? Why? Oh, she's very straight, very like, Tells that it is. She's super resourceful too. She's very um, bubbly. She's a very bubbly person. I'm not the most. Like, Boy is your. She's everybody's number one fan. She's your greatest supporter. Like, it could be just breathing in air. She's like, yes! Get it! You can do it! Like, she's always, always, yeah, she's. She acts like a number one fan. She's constantly cheering me on. She's very, like, caring about everything, like, even outside of me. And, like, if there's... And I'm like, oh, it's, it's a small thing. It's like, no, it's not. I know how incredibly smart she is, how much work she puts into what she does. And when it comes out, it looks as if she does it with little or no efforts. And... I also love the fact that she loves me and she allows me to be myself. I love the understanding we have for each other. That's about it for you guys. You know how um, people get the opposite of kind of who they are? I think that's, I think that's it. Maybe. I'm like the, the outgoing, fun-loving one and he's like the guy who's just chilled, wants to read his books. So I'm like the noise that he needs or something like that but i don't i don't really know like i love her energy um i love her spirit i love her like love of life that stuff is amazing and it makes it it makes every day fun i said do i know why you love me i said i don't know <laughs> 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 I, I said because maybe i think i'm the noise okay. i'm the opposite to you i'm the loudness to your calmness or something like that okay as I, I, I mentioned i love your energy okay. and like your love of life I know you. Oh, yeah. I said you are very resourceful and... Resourceful? Yeah. And oh. <laughs> I said you are resourceful super and you're like, super. you're super calm because like, I can be... Uh, and you're just like, what's the problem? Like, yeah. what do you think? So, yeah. Yeah. so I really love that. And you're also very nice. I didn't add that. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't like This example of her lies. You act like my number one fan. Like, you're always oh, cheering me up. Oh, oh. <laughs> And like you have like comments on all my Instagram pictures and they see all of them first. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, I don't think that you love somebody because of a thing, but just because you love the person. And also because like, they're a great person. Like, you're a great person. I like her answer. <laughs> Can I just replace mine with her? <laughs> and just add that to you, you're incredibly smart and incredibly understanding. Mm -hmm. What do you think would have been different about your life and perspective if you hadn't met him? It's like, okay, in five years I'll do this and it must be done in five years. Because 
actually like when I was entering into last year, the one thing I told myself was that I was not going to get into a relationship <laughs> and I wasn't going to do any of these things until like I had done certain things in my life and my life was okay. And then he just came and I was like, I just forgot everything I was saying. And he also like has this um, outlook that when when you say you're doing something, like don't have like fixed, don't fix your life in a certain way and just like be open to the things that happen and we evaluate your goals and whatever based on what is happening now and what you can see and not just like have a fixed idea of 10 years from now is what your life is going to be like or whatever. Yeah. I like to add in a very abstract, it's nice now, it's okay, way. But then Tamura loves art. So like my love for art now is a, is a direct re response to knowing um, Tamiwa, right? So we just used to go and just look at art pieces and, and now that's kind of who I am. I'm like an art lover. And then he's got like a um, good family, like his family are very Cosby show without the Cosby, Cosby, you know? So they're very, very loving and warm. And my family, we love each other, but we're not like hold hands and kumbaya. I think Lisa makes me more social than I would be by myself. Um, She's a big advocate for finding help from other people and talking to people. So she's super social. She has like a million contacts and a million friends. And I'm more insular. And so because of her, I have a bigger circle. I have a bigger network. And she pushes me constantly to use them more and to talk to people more. Um, what else? Like we've moved like five times since we got together. And I always joke about if I were by myself, I'd still be in that first place because I'm just like, I had a bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the roof wasn't leaking. It was fine. Lisa's fancy. Lisa is like, we're moving. Yeah, um, I'd be a lot less fancy without Lisa. If I hadn't met Bori, I think I'd be a much darker person. I'm like, I'm the darkest person. <laughs> She's hmm, like rainbow on a cloudy day. She's, she's the light of my life. I read your lips. Can you tell me the life of your life? <laughs> what? I'm done here. What did you see? Oh, yeah, that was last night. I was, I was like, I was like, you're my like, I'm not like the darkest person, but like you tend to brighten up. I my said you were the rock. Of my life. <laughs> 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 Tell me, okay. <laughs> I was like, wow. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Wow. We need boyfriends. Uh, I said that mostly the whole idea of like being fixated on your life being a certain way in a fixed amount of time. I don't like think of things that way anymore. Like if this doesn't happen, then my life is over or whatever. <laughs> it's just like being more relaxed about life in general. I say you're fancy and you make me more fancy. I and mean, I'd, I'd be chill, I'd be calm without you, yeah? <laughs> I said you guys are kumbaya. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like my family. Yeah, I said the family. You guys have a lovely family, that family love. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Mommy, I love you. <laughs> I said we moved like five times because of you. Like if it was me, it would still be in the first place because like, yeah, maybe there was a bed, the roof wasn't leaking. <laughs> That's not, where are we going? Why are we going anywhere? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I said I'm an art lover because of you. Okay, yeah. You know? Yeah. Then she goes and buys. Like, I'm the one that is really into it, but she's the one that is like, we'll take that one. <laughs> That's because Tamara doesn't like to spend money. <laughs> so what's, what do you think is the perfect gift for Tokyo right oh, money, now? money, money. Love Yeah, yeah, <laughs> The perfect dollars, pounds, telling, bags of money, money.